Hi guys, this is DVS Doll. This is my first YouTube video, but I thought I would start with a benefit haul. I picked this up at the Shoppers Drug Mart Beauty Boutique. I live in Canada, so we don't have a lot of Sephora locations in the smaller cities. I live in Saskatoon, so it's one of the places where we don't have a Sephora, so I just go to the beauty boutique there and uh, get some of my goodies. They don't have brands there like Urban Decay or anything. They have some Guerlain, actually, and Lancome and stuff like that. So this is my Benefit haul. I recently got into Benefit since they opened the first beauty boutique here. And I got a few things. The first one I'll show you is the Benefit High Beam. I'd heard a lot about this, and it's a little bit pricey, this stuff. It's more than your usual drugstore stuff. So I was a little bit hesitant, but I tried it. Uh, because I hadn't used a highlighter before. And, uh, let's see if I can just get this open. It's a pink color. It also comes in Moonbeam, which is more of a beigey sort of shimmer. Uh, so this is the packaging, High Beam. And it's really gorgeous. It, uh, the packaging inside is like nail polish, which is kind of strange. And you just dot it on your cheeks and blend it in above your blush. And it gives you that nice highlight. And this is the swatch here, if you can see that. And I kind of blended it out there. It's hard to see in this light, but it just gives you a bit of a shimmer on your cheeks. Okay. And so next we have some Benefit Lip Gloss here. This is the packaging right here. And this color is, what, who are you wearing? Who are you wearing? And I had some trouble picking out a gloss that I like. I'm, a, I'm big on pinks, but that's about it. And I'm not really happy with the payoff or the applicator of this. I'm not sure I would repurchase, but I'll do a review on this later. Uh, here's a swatch of that right there. And, okay, so next one of the, li the lip lipsticks here. I believe Benefit has two types of lipsticks. This one is the Silky Finish lipstick with this lady with sort of her old old-fashioned bra <laughs> and slip there. And I really like the packaging. It's different. You know, it's, it's younger than some of the high-end brands like Chanel. So here are the lipsticks. I got two of them. The first one is called Skinny Dip. And it's the darker of the two. Um, they don't have a lot of light pinks from Benefit, which if I could, I guess, give them some feedback, I would say, hey, some more light pinks, please. <laughs> And uh, the other, I'll give you a swatch of that in just a second. The other one here is called Jingling, and this is the first Benefit lipstick I got because it's more of the lighter pink. And it's not really a cool toned pink, it's more of a mid tone warm pink. It would It's your lips but better, and it would suit pretty much any col uh, complexion. So here are the swatches of those two. The darker one is Skinny Dip, the lighter one is Jingling. And of course there is the who are you wearing lip gloss above it? And my last lip, um, not lip product, but benefit product is the, it's the, um, it's the cream shadow, cream, creaseless cream shadow liner. <laughs> it's a long name. And uh, the color I got is recess, and it's, I'm not going to open it up for you, but it's just, uh, it almost looks like a concealer. It's a beige color, and, uh, it smells like butterscotch or caramel, caramel, however you want to say it. And it's right here. The swatch is right there. You can't even see it. It's basically my skin tone. A little warmer. But uh, I was thinking I could use this as an eyeshadow primer, but when I tried it, I found that the way it dries, it really does not hold on to shadow over top of it. So I guess if you're looking to kind of erase the blue from your eyelids or things like that, or you just want a nice beige color, then it's perfect for that, but as a base, I would say this is not what you want. I'd go for Urban Decay Primer Potion or Too Faced Shadow Insurance, something like that. Uh, I'm going to do a video coming up about how to depot, so to speak, your Urban Decay Primer Potion because the packaging is really not designed well to get the most out of it. So you can look forward to that. And as far as benefit, I'm um, waiting from, from there. I think it's their Queen Scene Collection or something like that. Anyway, it's the Annie palette, and I'm really excited for that. It's got Coralista blush in it and more high beam, which I like so much. And so I'll be doing a review on that once I get it in the mail from Sephora this week. So more to come, and I also got the Urban Decay Naked palette. I'm a big fan of Urban Decay, 
and all of their eyeshadows especially, so I'll be doing more videos on them coming up, as well as a high-end makeup haul and some reviews on that stuff. So comment, rate, and subscribe. Uh, any questions or anything you'd like me to do more swatches of, etc., just let me know. So thanks for watching my first video. Uh, this is DVS Doll. My real name's Bryn, if you're interested, and um, thanks for watching. Bye!